tell me about the uh, Fenton murder case. What, what happened there? Please. Hasn't everyone heard enough about this bloody Fenton case? Okay. Um, what about your, your family, siblings, parents? What, what were they like? Non-existent. I was an only child and my mother died when I was four years old. What, what about your father? My dad. He was the only man I have ever truly loved, despite his flaws. What, ha what happened to him? I wasn't your typical girl. I wasn't into boys or makeup. Thanks to Dad, I loved books, particularly crime novels. He used to read them to me as a kid. In his eyes, I was still his little princess. I understood that he didn't want to lose me after Mum died. But my dream was to become a detective. I have good news. That's it better not be, but I think it is your lady. Give me the here. Application to join the police. What have I told you about joining the police? You know what my thoughts are about that. You know how many friends of mine have left to go to work in the morning and have not come back because they've been shot dead by some fucking drug dealer who don't give a shit about the police. And I do not want that for my daughter. Are you listening to me? Forget about that. I'm sick and tired of my daughter not listening to a fucking word I say. Do you hear? That's an end to it. That was the last time I saw him. The last thing I've ever did to him was make him hungry. I'm surprised you followed in his footsteps after he disappeared. On the contrary, that gave me more determination to become a detective. I guess after he disappeared, I had hope to find out what had happened to him. Marcus told me he went to investigate a warehouse in a connection with the Farrell brothers. He never came back. What, what happened? Did you investigate? I knew that if I investigate his disappearance, it could mean the end of my career, before it really began. As a kid, I wasn't the one to play by the rules. As an adult, I wasn't any different. What are you doing all the way down here? You scared me. I was looking into the Burbridge domestic abuse case. Apparently they have history. Are you still on for tonight? Can't wait. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. Marcus was there for me after Dad disappeared. He helped me to get into the force. He always had a soft spot for me when I was a kid. And I fell for him as an adult. Of course, we couldn't tell anyone about it. But at the time, he meant a lot to me. Okay, interesting. You mentioned you found a key. What was the deal with that? I knew I had seen that key before. I used to spend a lot of time in my parents' room. And from my investigating as a kid, I knew Dad had a little secret in that room.
DVDs. What was on them? The truth to it all. You okay? I got here as quick as I could. If you're watching this, then the worst, the worst has happened to me. I have evidence of how the Farrell brothers have been getting away with smuggling for all of these years. There is corruption in the force. There is corruption in my department. The other disc. That disc must not, repeat, not fall into the wrong hands. Where's the other disc? a good thing going. And he tried to ruin it, so I had to get rid of him. Stupid bastard. If you think I'm gonna let you blow the lid on this, then you're just as stupid as him. Uh. <clears throat> Fucking bitch, what'd you have to go snooping for? <clears throat> she got what he deserved after betraying my dad. How are you still a detective after killing a man? Oh, I didn't kill him. But he has a hard time feeding himself these days. Besides, I hid a camera, got it all on tape. Right, okay. I, I've got to go. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, thanks for your time. There is no story to tell here. <laughs> <laughs>